This is Gunthorpe Street. Um, it was the murder, murder site of Martha Turner. Uh, now, a lot of people think, well, it's reasonably said that Jack the Ripper killed five people. They're more known as the Canonical Five, but in actual fact, there was 11 Whitechapel murders in uh, over three to four years. Um, Martha Turner was killed um, slightly before the first one, which was Mary Nichols. Um, Martha, Martha Turner, we'll go down here. She was, um, I mean, you couldn't make it up. It was her 39th birthday, the day she died, and she was actually, uh, she was actually stabbed 39 times. Um, she was, um, she was working as a prostitute on Gunthorpe Street, which is this, with a woman known as Pearly Paul. Um, I filmed yesterday in Piss Alley, Angel Alley, and uh, on the night of Martha's murder, she was entertaining a client in there. Um, Martha Turner picked up two men with Pearly Paul, uh, and they went to a nearby pub, uh, what was it called? The White Swan, it's long gone now. Um, and with the clients, they stood outside Gunthorpe Street. Um, it was known as George's Saint George's Yard. Um, um, there was a lot of argument over the price. Uh, Pearly Paul, after the murder, just described it at the police statement um, that they offered these guys. I think it was a cheap and quick knee trembler. They eventually agreed on a price. Um, Pearly Paul. Sorry, Martha Turner took her clients to the entrance of the street under the arch for a bit of privacy. Um, as I said, Pearly Paul used Angel Alley. About 15 minutes later, Pearly Paul come looking for um, for Martha Turner and Martha Turner was never seen again. But um, the murder, the, the actual murder site was... It's a bit further up here. It's... Um, Yeah, it's uh, just on here. It's um, 4.30 the following morning, a young man called John Reeves, I think his name was, left his room in George Yard Buildings and stumbled over Martha's body. It was on the first floor. Um, Modernised flats, I think it was. So, yeah, it must be, it must be around here. Um, yeah, stabbed 39 times. Her organs had been removed. Um, no one's really for sure whether Martha was a Ripper victim, um, or even it was a, it was a first client on the first night. But you know, it's uh, in actual fact out the 39 stabbings, a lot of them, in fact, the majority of them were like with a pen knife. But um, there was one which was very similar to what Jack the Ripper used. Uh, so Martha was found. It would have been where these modern flats are. Um, you know, if you look at this alley here, you can imagine it being Victorian. Everyone talks about Jack the Ripper, and when, when you say that, you think of tall gentleman, hat, cape, uh, carrying a bag, uh, glad glad bag, glad shawl bag, or something like that. They're called, um, and yeah, but in actual fact, the image of Jack the Ripper would have looked nothing like that at all. Um, he more or less had the appearance of a sailor. Uh, a lot of people described him as foreign, slightly um, slightly bigger than than the victims, you know. So Mary uh, Annie Chapman was five foot five, and when when he was seen with her, with her, they described him as maybe five foot seven, slightly bigger. But uh, as I said, I think in one of the other videos, you know, all the East End's gone now. But if you do, if you look hard enough on some of the uh, the locations which I've been around the last couple of days. Particularly in Spitalfields Market, when um, I'm going to go later on. Actually, there's, uh, there's probably the I've never seen a street so narrow, and there's like it's like a crossroad. So you've four, so you can just imagine the fog and you know back in them days there was no um, sanitisation, you know, so there was no cars, so the people would go down with the horses to basically clean people's crap and. Of course, what the horses leave, <laughs> it's uh, more crap. So you could imagine the smell um, of that time just being horrific. You know, we're living in a, 
uh, a well which is ravaged with viruses at the minute but in actual fact we've never been so clean compared to uh to them but uh but listen guys that's gunthorpe street and it's next door to the white heart which was frederick abalan's um number one suspect which was george chapman he had the barbers in the cellar below um yeah white chapel high street just on here but uh gunthorpe gunthorpe street